to my channel my name is Kai for those of you who are new if you are new what's up and welcome in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the wig that you've seen on my thumbnail that you have seen on my thumbnail that you saw in my title today's wig that I'm going to be reviewing is this one right here it's been out for a minute I know but I'm just getting to it um this one is from Outre this wig is from Altre. It's one of their perfect hairline wigs. This was in the style Iman and I got it in the color 1B. I was going to try the red color but I figured I tried their perfect hairline wig before and I got it in the burgundy so I wanted to try it in the black instead because just black hair. Black hair does it all you know. And by the way this shirt does not have a hole in it. It's how it's made if you see that. Oh my God, I almost just made a catastrophe happen. Get it right. <sighs> All right, we're good. Okay, so yes, this is the wig that I'm gonna be reviewing. I'm super excited to try it out. So let's go ahead and get her popped open and see what she looks like. Oh gosh, I'm already feeling this wig, guys. And it's, I haven't even put it on yet. So I'm hoping that it does not just I hope that it doesn't let me down so okay this is what it looks like when it comes out of the packaging it's already braided so look at that that looks so real gosh they be doing their things with synthetic wigs nowadays y'all like you don't even have to spend all that money just to look like you got money if that makes sense <laughs> alrighty so I'm gonna go ahead and get her placed on she does have a um, lace on the front that I'll need to cut off we also have some combs in the back and then we have two right here in the front on the sides close to your temple and then it also has a strap in it as well um, so you can have it fit to your head pretty decently and then it does have adjustable straps that I'm going to make tighter because I like my wigs to feel extra extra secure. Liddy lit liddy. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like once I got it placed on. I personally would suggest to not wear a black um, wig cap underneath because as you can see, it makes it look just a little bit darker, especially right here in the front with the edges. I would personally suggest probably wearing a clear um, wig cap, not clear, but you know, like the tan one, and then maybe throw in some of your baby powder not baby powder suggest throwing some of your um your makeup on it or your powder like your face powder so it blends in a little bit well with your skin i gotta cut this tv screen off that's like i would suggest doing that i'm not gonna take mine off because i'm just in like um a mode right now of doing like multiple wig reviews so i'm not going to do all of that but i would suggest it to make this look a little bit more natural so first things first, I'm going to cut this lace off so we can actually get it on and make it look pretty popping. So. So we got that placed on. It does come with the edges right here in the front. I am going to go ahead and lay the edges down a bit. Um, I think I'm going to actually cut them though. They're a little long. I'm using my Eco Style Gel. This one's in the coconut oil. Then I'm going to go in with my face powder right around like the edges area so it doesn't look super wiggy because I feel like um, you know how we usually will go in and we'll bleach the knots to make it where it doesn't look super knotty I guess is the way to describe it. Okay. This looks a tad bit better. So I flipped the size because I wanted you guys to be able to like focus on the wig and not my messy, messy background, unfortunately. So sorry for the confusion of the flip flop from one view to another view, but hopefully you like this view a little bit better. So I just wanted to do this so you guys can actually see really well what's going on up here in the front. Y'all, these baby hairs are not doing it for me right now. They're not doing it for me, but uh, you know, I'm trying to be positive. 
Okay, that's a little bit better. So I'm gonna give y'all you a good little view of what's going on at the front. The powder makes a huge difference. You can't even tell that I have a black cap on underneath. So if you do not have face powder like that, I would suggest investing in it, especially if you don't have the nude wig caps. You could just finesse it with the powder. So it's a nice appropriate length. It's not too long. I would say it's about 18 to 20. Very nice and soft. I'm going to straighten the ends because of how it was sitting in the packaging. It's a little bit, um, you know, curled right here in the front. It's a little curled in the front, so we're going to straighten it, make everything even. No, I'll take that back, you guys. It's probably about 22. It's actually pretty lengthy now that I look at it in the mirror. It's, it's pretty long. See? Alrighty guys, so I'm going to get into the details of the wig. It is shedding just a little bit, but not too much that I can't handle it. Nice, soft texture hair. You can flat iron the hair if you need to, obviously. You saw I just did that. Um, it does. It is able to be worn in multiple styles. Obviously, you could tell that from how it is braided back and then also the different parting space. You could have a side part, you could have a middle part, either side, whichever one you wanted. You could wear it up in like a little knot. Um, at the top, I'm not going to do all of that in this video because I just wanted to tell you the details of the wig. However, if you are interested in seeing me do the multiple styles that it can do, I will do it in a separate video for you guys, just showing all the different styling options. If you guys want that, comment that below and leave a like on the video because that'll let me know that you are interested in that video. I really love that it comes with these two little braids already done like that. Like that is super cool to me because I just feel like wigs are like evolving. You can do so much without having to wear your own hair and I just love it I love how there's so many different styles out here now for you to be able to do whatever you want so as you also know the wig comes with baby hairs um, I did not trim them however I do feel like I am going to trim them when I get ready to wear this wig out um, the wig also comes with layers in it it's not just all one straight length which I think is going to help with the fact of any tangling as well the wig also comes in many other colors if you're interested in other colors I hope that it's still being sold online I do not remember where I got this one from however I will link it in the description box below so you guys can check it out and search for the wig if you are interested in it all that information will be in the description box for you if you guys have questions about the wig that I might have not answered just leave a comment below and I will answer it for you it's a go of my book I suggested you know this is a wig that's appropriate for any any occasion you can wear it wherever nice it's a nice summer do that's what I would say like even with it being braided back like this nice summer do nice summer vacay wig as well but that's all the information I have for you guys today on this wig thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and that's all I got so I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys